praise the living Jesus. We want to praise and bless and appreciate the presence of our Lord Savior in this clinic. May the name of our Redeemer alone be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Our text today is taken from the Holy Scripture, from the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 25, verses 6 to 10. Matthew 25, verses 6 to 10. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgin arose and trimmed their lamp. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered and saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to buy to them that sell and buy for yourself. Verses 10. And why they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. May the Lord empower his holy word in this clinic in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will never wait in vain in the name of Jesus. Your sun will not set in the morning in Jesus' name. The glory of the God will come and shall come upon you and you will rise now wherever you are and you will shine in the name of Jesus. The Lord will fill your lamp with an unexhaustible oil in Jesus' name. Dryness will be a stranger unto you in Jesus' name. You will not marry another man's husband. Receive a new wine in your marriage right now in Jesus' name. God will make you wise. He will make your hands stronger to build your home. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And amen. Darling Jesus, oh darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you are a wonderful God. I love you so, my darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you are a wonderful God. Whom you marry to in life will determine almost 90% of your life. God instituted marriage in the garden and invested a powerful mystery into marriage. He said, the two shall become one. Supernatural, spiritual geometry, arithmetic. One plus one is equals to one. In that case, whatever cannot defeat your husband cannot defeat you. Who your husband will determine how far you go in life. Who is your husband or who is your head? The test revealed unto us about the ten virgin waiting for their dream husband. Five were shot outside and they remained single. The other five were married. God put so much power in marriage that the moment to get married, things begin to change. Your statute change. That the moment to get married, your statute change. And number one thing that will change is your name. According to the book of Isaiah, chapter 4, verses 1, Isaiah. We have a look at Isaiah, chapter 1, chapter 4. Verses 1, Isaiah chapter 4. Verses 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread. And wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by your name to take away. I reproach. Praise the living Jesus. 
the moment to get married, you see, the Bible said, you don't bother what the world is thinking about it. Your name must change because it's a, it stands as a reproach if your name has not been changed. They want to bear their husband's name. They will say they will buy our own clothes, we will eat our own food, but let our name be changed. What did the world call you before? The moment you marry to Christ, you become a sister. Are you be known as a prostitute? Or are you known as a robber? The moment to become a Christian, you, you marry to Christ, you become a brother. The woman that has seven husband, her name will change to an evangelist. The Lord will change your name today in the name of Jesus. The number two thing that will change is your accommodation. In the book of Psalm 27, verses 4, he revealed unto us, One thing I have desired of the Lord, that I may seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. He want to dwell in his husband's house, dwell in the house of the Lord. You must evacuate your father's house. Praise the living Jesus. You must behold the beauty of your husband. Another thing that will change is your responsibility. Before you are alone. But now your responsibility change. You wake up in the morning, you say, good morning, darling. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. You say, good morning to your husband. Responsibility change. You have to cook for your husband. Praise him, you worship him, offering and sacrifice a good delicacy that you will not starve him unto death. And number 14 that will change is your associate and your friend. Book of Psalm chapter 1, verses 1 revealed unto us there are some places you don't need to stand, there are some places you don't need to sit, there are some people you don't need to sit with, to stand with. That's why the Bible told us in the passage you read. Say, and the door was shut. The virgin was separated from the married. There is always a barrier. And that glorious thing that changed, that look more exciting, and I know it's going to be look more exciting to you, is your, your spending ability, your purchasing power will change. The moment you get married, your possession power will change. If you marry to a billionaire, your possession power will change. Where and what to chop will be different. When you marry to a king, you become a queen. And you have power over the king territory. And when you marry to Christ, you become a Christian. You have supremacy over earth and everything that is earthly. You have supremacy over everything on the earth and earthly things. When you, be, when you get married to Jesus Christ. And most important thing that will change is your citizenship will change. Where you belong will change. Irrespective even on this earth. Irrespective of where you come from. Be you Asia, Africa, Europe, America, Australia. The moment to get married, citizenship is change. The moment to marry to Christ, you have access to heaven. Without barrier, you communicate without interrupted. You command angel. You speak to heavenly ten because you are a citizen of heaven. Apostle Paul put it in a simpler form for us in the book of Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse seventeen. Let's have a look. Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse seventeen. Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things becoming new. That's exactly what he meant. Every old thing must pass away. A new thing will you become new. New name, new accommodation, new responsibility, new citizenship, new possessing power ability. Everything will become new. Are you married and not, not faithful? Receive new oil in the name of Jesus. What cannot stop your husband cannot stop you. You are married and something is still stopping you. 
receive new oil in the name of Jesus. What cannot stop your husband cannot stop you. It cannot stop you. Because it doesn't stop your husband. You cannot marry a doctor and be suffering from a mere headache. The Lord have mercy. You cannot marry a cloak maker and be walking naked in the street. It is impossible. Or are you thinking within? Why then we have sickness, stagnation, and failure? The truth is this. Majority are still cutting and dating, although they are like the virgin. They are virgin, they are believers. But they are not yet married. They are cutting, they are dating. Stop playing game with the lover of your soul. There is a lot of benefit. He has made a lot of provision, not until when you get married. If you are going it ordinarily, if you are going out with a sister, you don't give the sister a access to your, to your visa card. Not until when she becomes a wife. Then she can have access to the purchasing power. I assure you, nothing stops you from going to the cross. Nothing will stop you from attaining your destiny in the name of Jesus. He never fails. And speaking to you, you will never fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Or are you single? You are still on your own. Come, accept him. There's a lot of benefit because the Bible says two are better than one. For you have a better reward. You need a companion. I assure you, it will carry and bear your burden for you. In a very short confession, I want you to confess and say after me, Lord Jesus, I heard about you today. I'm inviting you to come and be my Lord and my Savior. I want to marry you. Accept me. Wash away my sin. I want to belong to you. Accept me, O Lord. For I come in humility. In Jesus' name I confess. Amen. I want to congratulate you, friends. If I just say that, watch your prayer after me. Because Jesus was never tied down. Sickness will not tie you down in the name of Jesus. Because we are not married, a sickness in your body before, because sickness does not dwell in his body, that sickness will disappear in Jesus' name. So it is not possible for, for the wife of a butcher not to have a meat in the soup. The Lord will supply all your need in the name of Jesus. There is a lot of provision a husband has prepared for us. Only when you get married to him, you have access to it. Especially for the new lover. You just got married right now, you just confess him as your Lord and Savior. The best way to keep and to sustain your marriage is in the book of Ephesians chapter 2. Chapter 5 verses 22 to 24. Yeah, let's have a look. Ephesians chapter 5 Verses 22 to 24. Wife, submit yourself unto your own husband, unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, are the church is subject unto Christ. So let the wife be to their own husband in everything. The secret to keep your marriage and to sustain it. To enjoy all the benefit that your husband, our Lord Jesus Christ, has provided. A complete submission. I want to pray with you right now. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verses 2. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was not that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Father, I never want to thank you, want to praise you, I want to appreciate you. Thank you for this grace, for this privilege. I commit your children unto you, Lord Father. Give them the grace to look unto you. Give them the grace, O Lord. And I pray for the spirit of submission, complete submission to Christ. Receive it wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for answer prayer. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. I want to congratulate you because a testimony is coming. I want to assure you the testimony is coming. You will enjoy all the benefits of the marriage. You can find our contact on the screen. Tell us about your new marriage. And I assure you, the Lord will help you and will retain it in the mighty name of Jesus. Join us next Thursday for another brand and each of faith clinic. Till then, stay connected and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.